Welcome to Conversation for the Soul. I'm Allison Gregory, and today I have back the beautiful Mary Catherine. Mary Catherine is a quantum soul hypnosis practitioner, soul reader, light language activator, and offers dragon and light language workshops. In fact, she is holding a free Lionsgate light language festival for Star Tribe's of the light community on August 7th with over 15 workshops to offer. Wow. And it's free. Welcome, yeah. Mary Catherine. Wow. That is beautiful. Now let's say somebody's listening to this after the fact. Will yeah. there be a place where they can access all of this? hundred percent. We're going to have the recordings. There's a special website dedicated to this event. Aww. There'll be links that I'll give to you. People can go in and, and look at the courses and the recordings and exercises and meditations. And it's also an online shop. So if you wanted to get the wow. essential oils, the crystals, I mean, this is this whole event is like a real festival. <laughs> and that's so nice that it's for free too, because a lot of people, you know, are struggling right now still, you know, with what's going on in the world. So that's a beautiful gift for you to offer. It is. And I know that when we chatted before last time I came on, we talked about the dragons and I was about to run workshops on dragons. And it was actually through that workshop, the dragons came through and they said, ignite a thousand hearts, create something that you can reach people with and get a community together, co-create. We want the co-creation. We want you to play in the joy of the co-creation together and shine each other's light, like lift each other up. Either as hosts, co-hosts, we have tech people, we have conscious oracles in this. We have so much, but it's also for those then coming into the space to see mm. and witness that and receive so um yeah there's a it's a, a calling it the sweet shop pick a mix Do you remember those more kids yeah <laughs> you used yeah. to get these bags and you'd be like i like that one. i'll have one of this well that that's what this is but i feel like tonight or today will you know the 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 impetus or the push coming through allison is the emphasis is on community and in community, we have co-creation. Mm. And the reason I feel like the dragons brought that word through um, to, to, to chat with you about, to chat with your listeners about, to get us to maybe feel into what that means for us. And to perhaps even, I wonder if anybody out there watching is having the thought land in right now of the community I'm in, or you know, maybe I'm not growing it. Or maybe I need a more that's aligned with me and where I'm moving towards, where I am right now and moving towards. Because there's an awful lot of falling away happening. I, I'm sure we're all feeling that falling away. And with that, there's doors opening to the new. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that's... that's uh... I felt that happening for me in the past couple of years, shifting communities, uh, so yeah. to speak. And there's nothing wrong with that. You maybe outgrow something or your awareness expands and then you want to go over here and see what this is all about. And then you want to go over here. But I'll tell you what, be forewarned. If you don't think you got a dragon connection, you'd be surprised. I never in a million years would imagine I would have any kind of dragon connection. And then I birthed seven dragons. So just saying, be warned. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I think one of the things with dragons is right now, they're coming in mass. They're not so much the solo, right? A lot of us have been working on our own solo, those especially in the community that you know we're, we're in. We've done a lot of solo on our own and maybe tapped in and out, like you said, to, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. What I feel like the dragons are saying is dragon hearts are gathering, dragon communities are gathering. There's packets of information coming through in the solar energies that we're in right now and more to come, right? Mm. And with that, there's a call and it's a dragon heart call. We want you to get together because this is, helping ignite and emphasize and open 
heart space. And one of the themes of this, when we're getting together in this way, now they're saying in person as well as online, because we'll need support structures in different areas, especially what we're moving into. And part of the messaging that they brought through for me, okay, with, with dragon hearts like yourself, dragon mothers like yourself, dragon birthers, whatever words, dragon writers, there's so many out there. <laughs> um, as well as those people that haven't connected yet, but feel that same pull, that calling. When we're gathering in this way, the powers that be can control that, right? There's a whole emphasis on freedom freedom because with this community and co-creation we're creating freedom for ourselves freedom of movement freedom of speech mm. freedom of how we create and we're releasing anything you know especially like because with creation and I'll, i'd be interested to hear your version on this co-creations sometimes have gone awry in the past communities that wanted to be built maybe they fell apart whether it was last year or 10 years ago or 20 hundred years ago, right? And some of us are holding that memories where maybe, you know, we, some of us had the pure hearts moving into it and some had other intentions, right? And there can be that kind of infiltration feeling. I don't want to bring it into the nasty part, but you get what I mean. Yeah. That we're moving out of that phase now because discernment and as the heart connects more and as we're doing that work more, you're going to have that recognition. It won't be put up with the, the hiding won't happen anymore. Everything, the false and the true becomes more obvious. Absolutely. I don't know. Do you feel that? <laughs> you oh, feel absolutely. That? I mean, it's just like a clown show now. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, and people are still believing this stuff. Come on. You know, it, it's really interesting um, to watch. And I just try to look at it from a very neutral place of, hmm, right. Look at that. Wow. Who would have thought they'd pull that one out of their hat? And it's, it's actually kind of funny. So it's a show. Yeah, it really is. Right? But it feels like and the word transformational choice has been coming in with that dragon energy because they're asking us what we're choosing as well. And there's no wrong or right mm -hmm. because. Some of us will have to, in the balancing act, as if we're on the tightrope, we're moving between both worlds. And that's needed because those that awaken in a certain part will need to know, where do I go? What's happening? Yes. What we... <laughs> so there'll be different roles and purposes that we all have in this building. We all have our purpose and mm -hmm. what that looks like. But the call is coming through very loudly right now. And if you're hearing it, I'm kind of playing and saying, well, what it's saying for you because your call could be different from mine, but yet it's there. And I want to validate that. And I want us to feel that validation together that it's safe now. It's safe to come together and co-create. That's kind of what they came through with. They use the words decentralization. These are kind of big words that I don't really use in my vocabulary. Yeah. <laughs> but they were like, uh, they show me the polarity, right? Everything wants to be centralized right now. I don't know about you, but in Europe, we have a lot of centralization happening and mm. the banking systems and the school, everything has to have this the sameness running through, even though culturally it might fit in, it might not fit in with certain belief systems, but yet there's this push from a certain sect, right? Mm. And censorship is classic. You have to believe a certain way, a certain thing. We don't trust you to have your own points of view or to talk about things. Um, so they're saying that part of what's going to be falling away or you, if you're hearing this right now, you're falling away from that. It's falling off you. And we're decentralizing into these communities and creating our own structures in these communities and feeling into what leadership looks like there as well. Like, you know, there's so much clearing and cleansing happening with this right now. But the dragons are like, they're right behind me saying, we're here. Yeah. <laughs> and there's, there's this guiding hand moving through. And they just keep saying, when the heart is open, when the heart is open, when the heart is open, the wisdom will flow through. Mm. And it, when we're in person, of course, you know what that's like. We're touching, we're feeling, we're seeing, we're sensing. 
and the heart connection. I mean, the Heart Math Institute talks about this, right? There's that expansion, especially in person. Online is powerful, but in person is another level. And I, so, I would say to anybody listening to this now or at any time in the future, if you're feeling like dipping your toe into this world, this, this event would be a great way to do it because you do get a buffet of a lot of different things that you can test out and try and see what resonates, see what um, makes you, your heart feel expansive. Exactly. In the workshop itself, we're going to have a lot of heart expanding. Um, there is workshops with inner child. We have emotional well-being. We have the levels of consciousness and understanding that, you know, grounding into what that means in this dimensional reality. We have dragons, unicorns, fairy, a lot of that galactic. We also have learning light language. If it's something that you want to activate, we have, if you want to learn how to interpret your light language, that's there as well, like really practical workshops, art, lots of art workshops, dancing, Kundalini workshops. Oh my goodness, there is so much there for anybody that wants to come in for whatever you know, thing you have an interest in. Most of it is there in the, in the 15 or so workshops. And the broad spectrum, we've nearly all continents represented. So oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. From Africa. USA, Africa, Australia, Europe. Um, yeah, we're kind of from all over. <laughs> you better get an amazing dragon ride after this thing is over for all the work that you've put into it. <laughs> I have to say that this is, yes, there's the vision and I'm coming on representing the vision, but this isn't me. Like I am the smallest cog in that wheel. This came, maybe I should tell everybody like how this yeah, community yeah. Came, to get, came to be. I, I'm speaking like language since 2018, not that long, right, in the, in the realm of things, right? And I had the push and pull to start running the very first workshops end of 2019, 2020, as lockdowns were happening. And I'd have a couple of people here and there starting off, and it was really just sharing it. You know, I was often very affordable, come in, get, you know, get activated. And the community started building there. And in 2021, they asked me for more. They wanted a space. We need more work. They were all gathering together in their own gatherings. And this was just, you know, there was healings happening all over the place, magic and meeting up all across the world. They're all coming to meet each other. They loved it. And it was initially a woman's space, but now it's expanded. We have kids and we have gentlemen as well. Um, and I said, okay, let's separate this from Mary Catherine and let's create something, decide the name, they came together, they decided the name Star Tribes of Light. Mm. And we created a separate space. They all have ownership on it and they all share. And that's online, but it's also in person. So there's live, they're going to be holding live gatherings, coffee mornings. They do healings together. We have transmissions monthly. And it's grown and grown and grown and grown to kind of have this right now. And these people that gathered, they never were seen online in that sense they weren't like doing this they were in or you know their normal jobs and this is the very first time um a lot of them are kind of going to this extent this capacity being seen and being heard yeah. and that for me is amazing we do have people that have been doing this for 30 and 40 years but we have an awful lot of people in such pure channel such pure heart wanting to share because we have all of those unique wisdoms within ourselves mm. that's what gets me i think is that the confidence when we're together in this way that we build because you're being validated you're being supported if somebody has an off day somebody's there i've got your back right and it's this giving and receiving that's equal and i don't think i've seen that in other places touch wood and when there's been you know a misunderstanding it's immediately let's it's cleared it's discussed the communication channels because of the light language works on expression channels mm. how do you communicate how do you express and create via your expression so this was also put together i think by the dragons to give a platform for people that need to be seen right now need to be heard right now 
and share mm. and that giving and receiving from those attending and there'll be more that's and i'm inviting more and more people to kind of sign up and say if you want to do something you've got wisdom to share come to us we'd love to share it as oh, it's in alignment yeah that's wonderful i've recently well for the past probably eight months to a year have had uh light language come through in the form of hand expression and it's just got into the point where it's like i just look at myself and go wow where where did that come from that's wild so and i say this because some i just talked to um someone that i know who was like what are you doing in that video because i just started doing that and i don't know what that is so that's pretty neat too that you can peruse this whole festival and and go oh my gosh that happened to me yeah or that is me that's what i do that's what i be yeah. that's what i say and now i'm like okay i see myself in this and now maybe i'm safe to share that with others or safe to show others i feel like it's it's definitely a space especially if you're new to this to be safe and comfortable um, and it is going to be, you know, it's a group thing. So we'll have, you know, be able to take questions and answers. It's not just lecture style format, it's experiential. And that's important. <laughs> mm. it's so beautiful. I love how your light language is coming through your hands. Some of the most powerful light language is actually silent and people don't realize that. Yeah. I've had a little that. of the voice come through once when I was prepping for a session the client and I asked for the assistance of Isis because I just started working with her and then all of a sudden that comes out and I'm like okay then <laughs> I heard she was very powerful but wow Absolutely. Uh, it, it's neat it's so neat I would love to know um how your your previous dragon workshop went and what kind of messages came aside from this festival what other kind of messages came through from the dragons at that time and then maybe we could even get a message from the dragons today absolutely it was vast <laughs> so um it went on over uh two months um because so much kept came through wow. and it started off with an introduction to the elementals they wanted to come through first because they're the anchoring and grounding to allow in mm, different frequencies in other words we'd be able to bring it and anchor it into the physical and that's what's really important that we can embody the information in the light physically here you know because yeah. we could be given everything up here but if we're not able to use it practically or ground it you know in the physical it can overwhelm us or it's just like a sieve water in a sieve yeah. going out yeah and I just have to say, elementals are highly oh, underrated too. So we, oh, I'm sorry, you cut out there. Your transmission's going in and out. Oh, can you hear me now? Yes, I, yes. I am in Spain right now and my internet is a bit new. So it's like calling the dragons, <laughs> anchor the internet. Yes. Yeah, so fire, wor uh, water, earth, air, and ether ether coming through very strongly this time and we don't tend to have as much experience with the ether dragons um the ether dragons are are the space between spaces they're the part of the god particle right mm -hmm. so if we look at atomic structure they're the god particle of that atomic structure the big bang whoosh, of matter of creation they're you know the electricity in the air they say in tartaria it's through the ether that the free energy came through yes and the dragons will bring in the information of free energy once again especially to the young people coming through right now the young children they're going to be developing that free energy won't eat gas there all that's going to come through in time again it needs its voice its safe space to be expressed sorry i'm going off but it's all linked this is yes. all linked so the aether dragons and then we moved into the history we have the history of the dragons womb because it was mainly women in that space, we had the womb blood dragons come through. They wanted to create with the women here healing womb. Um, they wanted for those yet to birth clearing womb to create the, the dragon children coming through, the dragon heart children. 
So we did that. We also had a massive amount of land work wanting to happen and standing stone work. I birthed a stone dragon shortly after that mm. and had visions of the standing stones around the earth and the circle stones around the earth. And I was urged to go visit them in Ireland. I don't even know where they are. And I, I just knew my body just goes, there it is. And I was discovering all these standing stones that were behind moss and ivy, forgotten and some looked after. Mm. So these type of experiences were happening. And we went all as a group. We did a lot of land energy work. And that was in preparation because we were coming up to the eclipse that April. So the second workshop worked on opening an Antarian stargate. And this was a contract that we had gathered together. The Antarian um, dragons uh, linked into the Antarian, if anybody's familiar with Antarian um, crystal stones from Mount Shasta, there's a link there with that dragon energy, but also oh, the plant. Oh, oh, yeah. And, and I pronounce it Andara. Andara, yeah. yeah. Andara. Yeah. So the, the planetary system, there was a stargate there that wanted to open into another universal portal gateway. We all experienced that and we had the same vision come through. So that was a real confirmation of that happening. And the, this was one tiny piece. So in our community, we did that, but we were also told many are doing this, even if not knowing they're doing it when their focus is there during the eclipse, let's say they were doing their own workshops, it was still funneling through to that. So I just want to confirm, yeah. it's not like we're special. Lots and lots of people are doing this, whether consciously or unconsciously, from their heart intention of expansion. That energy was funneling through to the Venus um, gateways. I then was actually on a Venus pilgrimage and realized that's why that was lined up right beforehand. So mm. it was this journey that was wow. incredible. And the, the Venus um, rising, uh, the Venus temple rising was also linked into a lot of the land between, uh, we did a lot of work between Wales and Ireland. And this is dragon, again, Wales, dragon, dragon mountain. We were at the dragon mountains, we went to the dragon wakes, the dragon wells. We followed all of that. And we ended up on Queen Maeve's mountain, Knocknaray in County Sligo, closing it out. Mm. Um, we saw, I think, five or six rainbows. It was incredible. Like at the end of that workshop, it was with the lady called Sahara Celestiel and Teresa Ludenberg and very, very powerful um, group and, and what they brought as well. That all linked into what we're doing now. <laughs> so it's funny, it's like that was another community separate to this one. But if we look at the webbing and how we're all connecting, yes. it's fascinating this web that's been created. And all we need to do is sit, be aware of doing is actually affecting what they're doing. They needed that and I needed what they had. And now this has been created. We're ingredients for the cake, all of us. Yes, <laughs> it's big. What else came through in that workshop? Yeah, I can't remember, there was so much. Um, so Merlin. We did a lot of Merlin and Avalon and there was the clearing of distortion energies there. Mm -hmm. Merlin came through many, many times with um, physical healings and he started giving his life story from preconception. I'm at age 32 right now, he's still going. So um, I'll let him tell that when he's ready. There's another segment of his coming through. Wow. So it's, it was very fascinating. Um, so Avalon energies came through quite strong as well. And of course, that's all heart, Camelot, the heart. Yes. There is so much. It's hard to. <laughs> yeah. So where do you see dragons um, playing out in our future? Do you see um, dragons physically returning to the planet at some point? Or do you think they will just be um, spirit guides for us? What do we term physical? What is enough evidence for us to believe? Okay, so I'm just playfully- A hug from a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm playfully asking the question. I, I, the reason I'm doing that is I've had physical evidence, quite a lot of physical evidence. Um, a little bit jealous. 
Okay. Yeah, a lot of physical <laughs> evidence, but it depends on what, what do you interpret as that? You know, physical evidence for me, um, <laughs> you know, I'd ask for something and it's giving right away as matter. It's physical, uh, instant yeah. manifest, physical manifestation. Um, perfect shaped clouds and then massive energy running through when they're saying, look up, see the cloud. Um, I've received a lot of gifts from the dragons. Um, magic, because dragons are related to magic. So like when something happens, if I you know, have a cut or something physically happens for a reason and I'm brought back into awareness of why did that happen? I'm given the message why, and then you have the power to heal yourself and the dragons will come through with how. And immediately seeing things that needed stitches in hospital don't need that anymore. Mm. So what is physical for one may not necessarily be the evidence for the other. Um, <sighs> crystals appearing out of nowhere, dragon teeth. Um, <laughs> uh, wow. <so laughs> Uh, wow. dragon crystals, gifts of the land coming up and being told this is this, this is that. So it really, really depends on what is physical enough. Yeah. Um, I physically see them. So, um, you know, if not all the time when I'm, when I'm kind of, it'll depend, you know, um, I will feel them. I will feel the breath. I will hear them. So, mm. Everybody Beautiful. will have it come different. It'll, it'll be different for everybody. There's no right and wrong with that. And there's no stronger or less strong with that. Some of us need another push to believe. <laughs> or, yeah. you know, some of us need that little extra, like, are you really believing? And would you be willing to believe? We, here is this. What else do you need? And then it's like, okay, I trust. And then it kind of, you know, you only get it when you need it then um what, what what was it for you I want oh to think, i'm yeah. i'm just thinking i'd like you know to have a dragon i could pick up like my cat and just be like have a hug you know kind of thing that would yeah. be cool that would be really cool but you had that sense when you birthed it didn't you um i did but i was releasing them and they were coming through me and doing whatever it is that they need to do on the planet so maybe that's the mama in me i want my babies to come back and give me a big old hug <laughs> all we need to do is ask yeah and sometimes like that dragons have a purpose and they move into their purpose and there's an opening for others to move through in the timing that we needed in the moment that we needed I, I, if you're okay, I, I'm going to say this out loud if you're okay with me saying that because it's yeah. coming in on my left um, to tell her that there is others coming through. There is a new one that you haven't experienced before wanting to come through. And for me, as I'm reading now, I can feel it come out of my, my mouth. So I wonder, has it got to do with more expression stuff again here? Uh, I'm getting a lot here talking. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I want to move my tongue a lot and dragon breath. Mm. Okay, um, igniting the fire of the dragon breath within you to create all things is what is also coming with this dragon in that you'll, there'll be a teaching moment should you wish to receive it. Everything is a gift if we ask to receive it is what they're saying. Mm. Um, and they're showing me their rainbow. I think we talked about the rainbow before, right? You know the way the rainbow is like that, yes. right? Here, they're saying leveling the fields. It's almost like the rainbow, rather than us feeling like we have to climb up it to bridge it or to climb across it to get to the other side. They're saying, the rainbow is coming down to meet you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're just going to skate across. It's that type of the energy that you, you have. It's already, it is you, it is you, it is you. This is just another part of you coming through as a, a dragon master, a dragon mother, right? Oh, do you want to be? How does that feel when I say that? Because I just I don't want anything I say, you need to feel it through your own body. Don't ever take anything I say as true. <laughs> no, I, I totally feel it. I totally feel it. 
absolutely and and i accept it whenever it comes to me yeah it's beautiful when, when yeah um up here there's your own wisdom to bring through to share and that's readying as well yeah dani akti like it wants to unlock this wisdom and that's it i won't i won't go any further <laughs> well i love your messages from the dragons they're so i mean for me they're very profound and i would love for you to ask the dragons to bring through a message for the collective at this time i will Something that will give us some perhaps direction on where we're going yes and opening those pathways, those doorways into the communities that you need to be in, or indeed if you're a founder, into founding those again. And I'm gonna ask everybody, yourself as well as, and just to drop into the body. And there's a feeling of us releasing expectation as well of what this might look like, this next step that we have forward whether it's now that you're listening to this or many years in the future, it matters not around time and space with dragon. So as we're dropping in, ah, connecting to the breath, inviting the magnetic dragons at the feet, the earth dragon. We're being brought in again, invited to breathe. They're talking about the breath of life, that we're learning to breathe again and rebreathe ourselves. Anybody being called to breath work right now that is coming from the dragons, because breath work can help you birth into that dragon self. Nice deep breath in. And on the exhale of your next breath, softly now. Sighing out, softening to the sitting space. Ah, feeling the shoulders drop. Opening the yoni, the lingam. Ah, softening the diaphragm. Ah, move the neck side to side. We're realigning the nervous systems, vagal toning. Oh, yawn, opening the mouth. Oh. We call in all our dragon guides of the dragon realms, the elementals, the dragon of ending cycles and of opening new cycles, creating new opportunities. We also have some ascended masters coming through that work with dragons. Dragons work with them. Part of this is the lifting of the veils that we're using as protection. The limiters are calling. Limiters up in the soul star chakra, universal gateways, all the way up, 22 up. Limiters on the crown, the third eye, the trope. Limiters of what we're allowed to receive or given permission to receive either by ourselves or by the space that we're in or the body that we're embodying. The body now is shifting as well. So we're going to ask the healing dragons to come through if that's needed for some of you watching. Not a highway. Just going to sound through. Ah, <laughs> They're working on the throat. 
amounts of ourselves in, more of us landing in. We have a big golden dragon coming through. this. So if that cat bread, they're just opening there of any other part resistance affecting the now embodiment of the human. So any memories in your whole being that human, so just asking you to let go. The aha, you can't move anything without a thing yet. You will not do anything. When you to you or take anything out of you unless you say yes, Ikana, because this is your choice. Abpune Ariyasi, Nana Ma Asiya Abusha Nima Alahi. It is our choice, and they will cooperate with us in that choice. Aratariam Narote Tuk Ariyasimi into the heart. Kur Avi Dragon Heart Unite. Abuko Yesi Ir Abur. Just as you did before, you somehow remember. We're opening the back of your receiving. More of your love. We love you. We love you. We love you. Feel it. Move through you. We burn all not serving. We issue up or air at And we're placing a hand in the power center and the back of the heart, the solar plexus and the back of the heart. Align into your power now. Aving you, believing in something. And you always. Pusha, we're like wiping the windows clean of what we perceive to be true of ourselves. Muko amena ali, guti kabu tu tina masaye. Do you know how important you are here in this embodiment that you're in? There is nothing insignificant about you. For seeking your significance, the purpose. Look no further, Nadi Ati, than breathing in now and receiving yourself, connecting in. So many of us disconnected, floating or drifting, why disassociated, numbing out, we're pressing. We must feel, we must be here, we must sense here, we must express here. Do you choose that now? It takes but one yes. Avukir neria si viki shi. Come home, all parts of you now. Little children within you, the inner child. We see you, we love you, where you have not been heard, not met, not seen, not expressed. Come home, little ones, into the love of all that you be. Great Divine Mother Dragon. We hold you in the palm of our hand. 
feel or stroke you. Aguaniati, caress you. Aguaniati, and you soften, and you breathe, and you be aruke. You are loved, udara. Be no shur, gena, abun, abun, the bashmaya, neke arukiasi. Fiana, of the skies, the stars, of the earth, the matter, of unk e ni, fire, water, aether, and air. <sighs> Balanced home, e chi kiraso, aku. Dropping into the earth. And if you will, placing your hands now together, rubbing together as you breathe in. This sound technology, this light language, these codings, these healings that you're co creating. Hands on the heart, hold yourself. Well done you, you're still here. Avunia diakawa. Hold the solar plexus power center. Rub it. Badu e. Hold the womb hara. Enyamasi. Feel your warm hands and rest them there now. Mbaniati. You are loved beyond all creation. You are unbecoming to become. That is what many of you are moving through right now. Sometimes it can bring up the feeling of chaos or chaotic mind, body or environment. Know that this is a dredging of the waters, if you will, a clearing out, an emptying of space. Release resistance. There is no fight. We know that in the physical, it is felt. Breathe and imagine the dragon breath releasing anything left. Give it on to the mother, the earth. Give it on to the father, the sky. What's not yours is no longer needed to be carried. Mushinima, mystical ones, blessed ones, magic ones. You're entering into the new phase. Muti, tiki, you are the new phase. Trust, believe. Mukuni e, and discern. Thank you. I'm completely knocked on my ass now. <laughs> that was powerful. That went on a bit longer than I thought it would as well. <laughs> wow. And the dragons in the sky are rumbling right now. It's beautiful. It's... There was so, so many. Wow. You're hearing them now around you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Totally. Oh, that was so beautiful. Hmm. I'm going to need to process that for a while. There was a lot. I, I'm going to listen up into that as well. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for allowing that expression to come through. Absolutely. It was beautiful. What fun it is. What joy it is to play. It really is. It really, truly is. Um, is there anything else that you would like folks to know about your upcoming event that will be virtually available for a long time? Forever and ever. Yes. <laughs> Unless there's no internet anymore. <laughs> we'll just have to pull yes. it out from the sky. <laughs> so for those yet to come up to this date, it's the 7th of August, 2022. That's a Sunday and it's running all day long 
Um, I'm going to give you the UK time zone, which is GMT plus one, 12 to half seven. So we've got, you know, a couple of hours there and there are concurrent workshops. So at 12, there are three. So you can choose which ones you want to go to. At one, there are two. The dragon workshop is at four to five UK time. That's five to six uh, CET Europe. And in the US, that's your morning time, depending on what zone that you're in. Um, definitely doable. Um, that workshop is being held with a, an amazing, incredible being, and he's from the USA, but residing in Denmark right now, Timothy Dumphy. Mm. Uh, he is uh, 35 years doing this, working, uh, the dragon's working with him. Um, a very, very incredible being that I have the honor to co-host this workshop with, bringing in a vast amount of energy and healing. He is a dragon master. He's a black belt. He, he's just, uh, the list goes on for what you can receive just by being, because <laughs> I was seven minutes with the person and I had a massive shift as well. So mm. just being in the presence of all our, of our creators, um, it's a gift in itself, even for us. So please join us for that. Um, and I'm going to give you the registration link that you can put up and it is a free event. Uh, donations are accepted if you wish. And recordings are available post event as well and extra workshops after the event because some people wanted to host but they can't be there in the day mm. so we have an awful lot more coming and free free stuff coming as well That's books beautiful. yeah course materials all of it now you'll be weeks going through this i would encourage <laughs> donations though because i know technically that's not an easy feat to pull off i know just what's involved in what i do for the podcast and yes, please, if you do join, right. please consider a donation to this wonderful event. Absolutely. The donations are going towards paying for the tech technology, the tech, the tech team, the websites, the directories, the physical online shops and in-person shops. So all of the setup essentially. So they are so, so appreciated. Thank you for mentioning that as well, Alison. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I know what it takes. It's not easy, but <laughs> it's it's so worth it. You know, when you're when you're called to do so, you just do and you'll be provided for. That's it. The trust. Mm -hmm. Follow it. <laughs> absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, my dear, for being here. And I look forward to this fabulous event and so appreciate you. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. everybody. <laughs>